Hi guys, it's Mrs. Clace with my art lesson for today. This is a lesson for kinder through second grade, but really anybody could do it. Um, today, we're gonna learn about an artist and his name is Albert Durr. And he's a German artist. He's from the German Renaissance. Um, he was born in 1471 and died in 1528. So he lived a really long time ago. And one of the reasons I find him fa kind of fascinating is that in his time, he made a lot of beautiful woodcut prints, which means he carved into wood and inked them and made prints. Um, but he made them of things that weren't even in his surroundings. So the one he's really famous for is this one that is of a rhinoceros. So here is his woodcut of a rhinoceros. And he had never, ever seen a rhinoceros before. He made this entire piece of art just using a description that somebody had written and sent to him of what a rhinoceros looked like because there weren't zoos back then that you could go see a rhinoceros and he had never traveled to anywhere where rhinoceros lived. So this whole piece of art was just made from a written description of what a rhinoceros looks like, which I think is pretty incredible. So we are gonna make our own Durr, Durr rhinoceros today and he's gonna look a little bit like this and he's gonna be super colorful and full of patterns. So we're gonna start drawing together. So get your paper and crayons, pencil, whatever you have, and we'll start that. Okay, so to start our rhinoceros, we are gonna start with some simple shapes like we often start drawing together. His head is kind of a crescent moon shape and we're gonna start it to one side of the paper. So I'm gonna draw with crayons so you can see what I'm doing but you could do it with pencil and we're gonna make a big curve like this to start his head. So just like that, it could tip in different directions, no big deal. And then we're just gonna close that up so it looks kind of like a crescent moon. You could draw with a crayon, pencil, whatever makes you happy. Okay, now we're gonna go up here on our rhino rhinoceros, up to the top of his head, and we're gonna make a big curved line. No tiny rhinoceroses, friends, because we got to have lots of space to fill up. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to curve out, 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 and go down towards the bottom. Okay? So once we've got a big curved line like that, we've got a good start for his body. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line that comes down from his head. And it's going to come down about as far as this line did. So watch what I'm doing. I'm just going to bring a line down and stop it right there. Okay, doesn't look like a rhinoceros yet, but we're getting there. Now, we're gonna make his legs. How many legs does a rhinoceros have? Four, not five, not eight. So we're gonna try to space these out to give him four kind of chunky legs. So I'm gonna do leg number one, go up, down. Now, mine are kind of different sizes. No big deal if they're not all exactly the same. We are not perfect and it doesn't really matter. It's still gonna get the same rhinoceros vibe either way. Now I'm gonna add two legs in the back. One and two. So then I've got my four legs. Try your best. Again, we're not worrying about being perfect. We can add a few details, like let's add some toenails. That's my favorite part, some toenails. Come on now, that'll be cute, okay? So we've got toenails. Now up here for his head, we are going to add two rhinoceros ears. They kind of have a little point to them. Maybe, you know, just they almost look like a big mouse's ear in a way. And I'm putting shapes on the inside so I have something to color. Then what would a rhinoceros be without his horn? So somewhere about here, you can add his horn, right? And then we're gonna add an eye. We're looking at him from the side, so we would see one eye. So I'm gonna add an eye, and I'm gonna give him a smile. Happy rhinoceros. And you can do a line right here for his pointy horn nose. Now, the thing that makes this really fun to do is we're gonna fill him up with different patterns but we need big chunky spaces for patterns. We don't wanna to make tons of tiny, tiny, tiny lines for patterns because there'd be no space. So watch how I'm gonna chop them up and then you can chop your guys up. So I'm gonna start up here at the top and I'm gonna just bring a line down about there. So something somewhere about halfway and then you can do some lines that are straight across 
or diagonals that kind of cut up your rhinoceros into big chunky shapes. Nothing smaller than this though, guys, or you're gonna run out of space for your patterns. And then do the same thing over here. So I'm just making some big, simple shapes to fill in with patterns. Now, once you get to this, this is when you can go crazy with all the different kind of patterns you can think of. So maybe you're going to do some stripes. Maybe you're going to do some big circles, like almost like bubbles, but make sure they fill up the space. Don't just put them on in the middle, put them all the way to the edges. You do whatever shapes make you happy. Um, you could do different kinds of shapes, like you could do some triangles in one section. You could do zigzag lines. You can do swirls. You guys know your, your different kinds of patterns and this is a great time to practice them. Um, swirls, I could do swirls like this, but making sure that I'm really filling up my space to make my rhinoceros as interesting as I can. So I would keep filling up with all different kinds of patterns in each space. Once I'm done with that, guys, what do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna color in. So please, color in, be super colorful. I wish I could see all of your rhinoceroses. It kills me not to see your work because you know how much I love that. But fill them up with patterns and then get out your crayons or colored pencils or whatever you, ever you have there at home and start coloring your rhinoceroses. When he's all filled and colored, you'll be done. And you could even add a background if you have time. I didn't really have time to do that, but you could put your rhinoceros in a background. Okay, guys, so I'll see you soon. I miss you guys lots, and take care. Have fun making art.